In this video, I'm going to show you a very simple circuit that you can use to turn on an LED very gradually, and then when power is removed, it will gradually fade off. This circuit can also be used with small incandescent bulbs, such as a dome light in your car. This way the light can go on gradually and turn off gradually. I'll go over the circuit first. Over here, the switch power connects to the circuit, connecting to a 1N4001 diode, flowing into a 330K ohm resistor. After the 330K ohm, it will flow through a 56K to 68K ohm to ground. At the junction of the 330K and the 56K, you will come off with a 220 microfarad capacitor, 16 volts. And also at that junction point, you will tie in a 36K resistor into the base of this transistor. This is just an NTE 123AP 2N3904. It could be a lot of different NPN transistors, so give them all a try. They should work fine. Emitter then goes to ground. The power is constantly on with a 12 volt supply or whatever other voltage you're using. And that will feed through a current limiting resistor. In this case for 12 volts, I'm using a 470 to a 510 ohm. Flowing into an ultra bright white LED. When I demonstrate, I will be using a Piranha ultra bright LED and that will flow into the collector. So when you turn on the circuit, the switch power that would normally go to the light that you'd like to dim would flow into the diode. Power would then slowly bleed through to 330K to charge up this capacitor. The purpose of this resistor is to adjust the fading off time. Once the voltage climbs enough in this capacitor as it's slowly charged, it will then bleed through the 36K, turning on the transistor. Now this particular circuit right here will work fine, up to 50, maybe 100 milliamps. Now if you'd like to use this circuit for incandescent bulbs, such as in your car, a dome light, you're going to have to allow more current to flow through this transistor. And the way to do that is to allow more current to flow into the base. And there's a separate circuit, which I will show you in a minute. But first I'm going to demonstrate the power supply connected to the circuit is 12.5 volts. And what I'm going to do right over here, you have two Piranha ultra bright LEDs. I'm going to take this wire, touch it to the positive rail, and you can just see how it gradually goes on. Now I'm going to remove the power. and now the power is completely off. Now you could have the fade off time speed up a little bit by decreasing the value of this resistor right here. By decreasing the value of this resistor, it allows the capacitor to drain quicker because you'll be bleeding some of it to ground at the same time while it's keeping the transistor turned on. Now the demonstration you just saw was using a 470 microfarad capacitor. I'm going to change it with a 220 and you're going to see how much faster it fades in and fades out. Alright, I now switch to a 220 microfarad, less than half, and you're going to see how much quicker that this will fade in and fade out. Alright, now I'm going to remove the power.
and you're completely off. Now I personally prefer to use this one, the 220. It's a nicer flow with it fading in and fading out. Do it again. On. Remove the switch. And back off. Now I'm going to show you a different circuit. And this is the schematic. If you're going to want to power an incandescent lamp, such as a dome light in your vehicle, up to a maximum of 500 milliamps, this circuit will work just fine. You have your switch power going to the bulb originally. You're going to take that line and connect it to this diode. It's going to feed through a 1K to a 1.2K ohm resistor. Don't go higher than 1.2. The capacitor is around a 3,300 microfarad. Two of these in parallel will give you a better result. A 330 ohm resistor leading into the base of the TIP41A. You're going to need this larger transistor to handle the higher current. And because the transistor is not turning on and off quickly, you are going to generate some heat as it's gradually turning on and gradually turning off. So you're definitely going to want to use a TO220 NPN transistor like this. And there's the lamp and a 12 volt power supply which is always connected. I'm going to demonstrate with this bulb. This signal bulb draws roughly half of an amp. I'm going to connect up the power and you'll see how it works. Now, it's not going to turn on as gradual as the other circuit because we're using a heavier load. It's going to turn on quicker, but it's still going to, get, instead of going instant on and instant off, it will gradually go up and then it will go out. And this is how this will work. And when I remove the wire, It works well. Now, like I said, this won't get hot because you're not having it dim long enough. So you have no problem with the transistor. Now, if you want the lamp to take a little longer to go on, you would parallel up another capacitor or just use one larger one. For me, this is fine. Power it up. Nice. And power off. Now if you want to power one of these 200 milliamp bulbs like this that's used on door panel lighting and turning signals and running lights, you have to make a few adjustments to the circuit. You now only need one capacitor and that capacitor could be 2200 microfarad or 3300 microfarad. The resistor that was leading to the base of the transistor was a 330, you're going to make that a 1K and this resistor right here that was a 1.2k is going to become a 4.7k and then it will work just fine for a 200 milliamp bulb all right i'll demonstrate with the modification to the circuit here we go very good and power off Now if you want it to take a little longer to get the bulb to go fully bright, you can play around with the value here. Make that 4.7K that I switched it to. You could raise it to maybe a 5.6. And you could also increase the value of this capacitor to make it take longer to have the light go to full brightness. If you enjoyed this video, please rate it a thumbs up, subscribe, and also post links to this video on other websites and blogs. Thank you.